Hey, good afternoon, Cancer, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name is Morty, and I'm excited to be here to be sharing this reading with you guys today. Whether your sun sign is Cancer, or your moon or rising sign is Cancer, or you're just checking up on a Cancer, or if you're just intuitively guided to be here, uh, whatever it was that brought you here to this channel, I'm very in this reading, I'm very happy and excited that you're here. Uh, today is October the 16th, it's Wednesday. The time is 2.14 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And Cancer, let's get started with your tarot reading. I want to begin your reading today by taking a moment to tap the crystal healing bowl, giving it a chance to sing to us real quickly. And before I do that, I want to, I want to share a little bit from this book with you. Just, It's a bit of a prayer. I just want to read it out loud. But I want to begin with a quote. I love this quote. It says, you can't water the roses if you're standing on the garden hose. Right? And I mean, this this quote really resonated or rings true with me because I'm somebody, I, I stand on the garden hose many times, right? And I, I understand that it's, it's getting in my own way. You know, when we close ourselves off from being able to be open to receiving. Okay, Cancer. So let's begin with this prayer real quick. Cancer, fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. May I be grateful for every blessing and know your abundance as my own self. Open me to my own inner divinity and awaken me from the sleep sleepwalk of being only human. Okay. I really like that prayer. So Cancer, what we wanna do now is I'm just gonna take a moment, tap the crystal healing bowl and give it a chance to sing to us. Keep in mind, this is the perfect opportunity to remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading. Allow yourself to step into a space and a place where you'll be open to hearing and to receiving any messages that are meant for you to hear in today's tarot reading. That came through beautiful on this end. I hope you guys were able to receive it just as well as I was. So I want to begin your tarot reading today by pulling an energy, taking us into your tarot reading. I'm going to pull this energy from my Black Moon Astrology cards. I love this deck of cards. I love the energies and the definitions that are connected to these energies. Cancer, keep in mind, so this energy that we pull now, this is going to be the central energy taking us into your reading. Right. In some ways, it can be the spiritual lesson, right? What's really going on? Right? Because the, the tarot reading, it has the details, the specifics, right? But what is the message, the spiritual message, the learning that's taking place? Okay, beautiful. So Cancer, the energy taking us into your tarot reading today shows itself as Sagittarius, which is I see. The number 21, which reduces to a three. Three is a powerful number behind manifestation. So Cancer, let's take just a moment. I wanna read, just outline the key ideas that are connected to this energy because you know, we're all on this, this, this pattern, this cycle of energy, right? But all the details, they change, they differ for each of us, right? But the primary energies and the lessons are the same. So let's see if we can wrap our mind around exactly what this energy is telling us, taking us into your tarot reading today. So, beautiful thing for you, Cancer. So, this energy in this card, this is equivalent to the Six of Wands in original tarot. Uh, Six of Wands is a beautiful energy. It's representing the energy of victory and of triumph. Okay, Cancer, the Sagittarius card in, in brief. <clears throat> Wait, excuse me. I'm going to read the key ideas, just the beginning of this. 
Cancer, you're just about ready to hit your mark. The sign of Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter and is a mutable, easygoing fire sign. The ancient symbol for Sagittarius is half man, half horse, known as the centaur, a creature trained for the art of archery who always manages to hit his target, no matter how far he roams. Okay, so the Sagittarius card in brief, right? It's representing good luck and good fortune, right? So Cancer, this is a beautiful thing for you. Favorable conditions, being open and broad-minded, going for the truth, being truthful, being frank and honest, being kind and helpful, allowing others to be who they are, seeking answers, becoming curious, psychic fairs, visiting areas of study, universities, lecture halls, churches, bookstores, courthouses, feeling passionate, going on a big adventure, travels in a southeastern direction, giving others freedoms, gathering others together for a good cause, living for the moment, avoiding commitment, clumsy accidents, feeling loose inside the body, wine and beer, campouts, fireplaces, horses, the kidneys, buttocks, and upper thighs, gambling, gambling places, lottery tickets, panhandlers, the colors violet, magenta, and blue. Key ideas are freedom, exploration, lucky breaks, religion, travel, philosophy, and honesty. So, Cancer, this is a beautiful energy to take us into your tarot reading today. Uh, you know, Sagittarius ruled by the planet of Jupiter, right? What is Jupiter about, right? Jupiter's about creating change, right? And many times it's good fortune, good changes coming into your life, right? So Cancer, you may be stepping into this time of your life, right? Where you're feeling connected with some energies of good luck. And how do we define good luck, Cancer? We define good luck by its, its combination of preparation, meeting up with opportunity, right? So for all of you that are prepared, right? For this opportunity coming to you, right? I think you'll be very happy. Okay, Cancer. So I'm going to do your tarot reading today with my Universal Tarot, Tarot Set. I pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. So Cancer, you're ruled by the moon, right? And just a few days ago, I think we were in a full moon. <clears throat> Which, uh, you know, I'm sure the, the moon has a drastic effect on all of us, but specifically on the, on the sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer. So the way I'm doing your reading, I'm just going to hold up each card as they come out, just briefly outline what the card represents in terms of the energy by itself, standing on its own. So we, we begin your tarot reading with the Justice card, right? So this is the card of Libra. Some of you may have a Libra in your life. Justice is about fairness. This is about this, you know, balance, the scales of justice coming into your atmosphere, right? To bring you fairness and balance. We have the hanged man on the bottom of the deck. All right, Cancer, tell us more. Too many cards. Actually, there's three cards. I feel like they're part of your reading, right? And I, generally, I like to try to take one card at a time whenever it's possible. But this time, three flipped, and I feel like intuitively, I feel like these are these cards are part of your reading. So I need to share them with you here. Okay. So interesting. I was just talking about the moon, right? So taking us next into your tarot reading, we have the moon card. So this could represent Pisces, right? It could also represent Cancer being ruled by the moon. The energy by the self, this can represent, I mean, we're operating with the, the moonlight, right? So we think about being out in the moonlight. What does it mean to us? When we're out in the moon, we're able to see things, right? But we're not able to see things in their, in their brightness, right? We're not able to see things in their fullness. Showing up here in your, in your tarot reading today, Cancer, right? Maybe letting us know, right? There's been some, things haven't been as clear right, as you would like them to be. Okay, Cancer. 
Coming in next, we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, aces are beginnings. Right? Swords are mental energies. So here we have this hand of God coming out of the cloud, showing up right, with this sword, offering this beginning to Cancer. Right? Swords are it's a new, going into a beginning of a new way of thinking, right? a new understanding. And what's standing out to me right now is on the bottom of the deck just a moment ago, right? we had the hanged man, and he has this illuminating light surrounding his head, right? So this illumination, right? Illumination coming in, possibly clearing up, right? Some of the cloudiness from the past. And it's this illumination, right? This bringing you, giving you a new understanding, right? A new way of looking at things. Okay, Cancer, coming in next and showing up at the center of your tarot reading today, we have the Wheel of Fortune, right? So, Makes sense, right? Showing up here at the center of your reading, Cancer, it's put some significance and some importance on this energy. Because the energy going into your reading, right, was Sagittarius, I see. It's about good luck and good fortune coming your direction. And it's showing us this, Cancer, right here at the center of your reading. This is about preparation and opportunity coming together, right? Coming into your universe. Tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, Cancer, coming in next to the Will of Fortune, we now see the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords represents air sign type energy, so it can be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Queen, so we think of female energy. Right, the Queen of Swords, right, this is a good energy. This is, so what the Queen of Swords energy is, like when we take on, we face, and we embrace this, this energy, right, this is about taking on an energy that serves us when it comes to making changes in our lives, right? Because uh, the Queen of Swords, she holds a sword in one hand, right? So this energy is great at coming into our life and being able to look at things objectively. Key word being objectively. Being able to see the big picture, right? And recognize those areas in your life, right? That require, that need change. She comes in with her sword. She removes these changes, right? So energy that serves you very well, Cancer. So Cancer, I'm going to share with you just a little bit here. So just kind of let you know what I'm seeing early on is. So for some of you, right, we have the moon card. So things not being quite as clear, right, as you would like them to like them to be, right? But I feel like Cancer, that some of this illumination is coming to you, right? Removing the energy of the moon, right? Maybe bringing in some brightness, some sunlight. I feel like Cancer, right? This is, this is your time. This is your place because... We have the Justice card taking us into your tarot reading. So it's letting us know, right, the fairness and the balance that's coming in with justice, right? And what it's bringing to you is bringing changes, right? Fortunate changes. beautiful so coming in next to the Queen of Swords we have the two of cups uh, beautiful energy two of cups by itself this is representing a relationship right? for some this can be love two of cups kind of lets me know right? there could be some newness to this relationship right we have two people here that they're both holding this cup cups representing emotions feelings and love here they are right sharing this cup of love Cancer, that this Two of Cups energy could be part of the, the, the Will of Fortune, the changes coming into you.
Tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, Cancer. So coming in next, and this is coming in attached to the Moon card, we have the Ten of Wands. So by itself, or Ten of Wands, it represents a long journey, right? The heaviness that you may feel from the long journey, right? Just notice how he's carrying these Ten Wands, right? It's not, I don't know if he's carrying them very effectively, because it looks like at any time any of these wands could slip, right? And they'll, they'll fumble to the ground. So Cancer, I feel like this is, you know, it's representing the journey that you've been on. Maybe the way that you were carrying these wands, that was kind of connected to the illusion of the moon, right? Of just not seeing things clearly, right? But then the light comes on, we have illumination. So Cancer, I feel like it's letting you know, right, you can change, right, this energy. Carrying these wands much more effectively. I feel like it's this illumination coming into your life. It's going to correct this energy. I mean, this is a good energy to show up. It's representing the energy of a long journey coming to an ending. So, Cancer, I feel like what could have been part of what's created this long journey for you is the moon card, right? Of just not being able to really see things as clearly as you'd like to be able to. Tell us more here. Okay, so Cancer coming in next. And this is coming in attached to the Ace of Swords. We see the Judgment card, right? So this is a beautiful energy to show up in a tarot reading. Is it's letting you know, Judgment, right? Going to going to the wayside, judgment coming to an ending in your life. It's connected to the Ace of Wands, right? So, Cancer, I feel like you know if there's been judgment in your life from the past, right? Whether you're judging others, others are judging you. We're judging ourselves, right? This judgment coming to an ending, taking you into is being trumped by the Ace of Swords, right? So, allowing this judgment to end and not taking it with you into this beginning. Okay, Cancer, coming in next, and this is coming in, showing up at the center of your reading, attached to the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Page of Swords. So pages are messengers. Swords represent that air sign type quality. So it could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, right? It's a younger energy. Pages, they're bringing in news, messages, right? It's connected to this Wheel of Fortune beginning. coming in attached to the Queen of Swords, right? We have the Four of Swords, which is by itself, it's representing the energy of rest and recuperation, right? So it's coming in attached to the Queen of Swords, right? So the Queen of Swords is an energy that's trumping this energy, right? So Cancer, I feel like for many, it's letting us know right? this is not, not necessarily a time for rest and recuperation, right? This is a time to to get busy with this Queen of Swords energy, get busy removing right, those energies in your life that are just no longer serving you. And why is it you're doing this? Because you're making room in your life. You're making room in your life for this ace beginning, for this will of fortune, right? These fortunate energies to come into your life. So coming in next, this is coming in attached to the Two of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands, this is a good energy, right? By itself, it's representing the energy of 
This is the figure here. He's standing on the shoreline next to these three wands and he's looking out into the sea. Notice all the color of yellow. Yellow is related to our, our solar plexus chakra. But he's looking at the journey that lies ahead, right? And he's preparing for this journey. He's trying to get an idea of, of what this journey looks like, right? This is coming in attached to the Two of Cups. So, Cancer, what I feel like it's, it's representing is the energy of you, right? Being in this Two of Cups energy with another, right? Maybe you're not together yet in the 3D, but you're sharing, you're talking together, talking about the journey that lies ahead. Like, what are the possibilities? taking us out of your tarot reading today shows itself as the page of wands right so we have the page of swords showing up earlier in your reading now we have the page of wands the page of wands is about taking action this is about movement notice this wand it has this growth coming out of it already right so could be a message could be news coming to you if so by a fire sign i don't know you could be stepping into this two of cups adventure with the fire sign because we have the three of wands attached to it and here we have the page of wands we're seeing quite a bit of fire here all right cancer i have your cards laid out now now i need to take a moment i need to look at the cards i need to kind of see and feel exactly what's going on here what it is they're trying to share with us by way of messages so hang tight for just a minute i'll come right back and i can begin to share your tarot reading with you here um, I have my second deck of tarot cards right here on deck, ready to queue up if we want to go after any clarification in any areas, and there's a good chance that we'll do this. Okay, hang on just a moment. begin sharing it with you here cancer you guys have a beautiful tarot readings so the energy taking us into your reading today right this is a, a serious energy that's that's connected to this reading right and I'm seeing it here in your reading with these other cards that come out Sagittarius card this is about seeing right being able to see right having receiving this enlightenment this understanding what is it bringing you cancer it's bringing you justice, right? It's bringing you fairness and balance. This is the energy taking us into your tarot reading. What's this fairness and balance coming from in your life? Well, Cancer, I feel like you've been on a journey, right? There be, it feels like it's been a long journey for, for some of you, right? Because it's showing itself here as the Ten of Wands. And this is coming in attached to the moon card, right? So what is it, Cancer, about, right? This journey that's caused it to feel like it's a long journey? Well, could be because we haven't been able to see things quite as clearly, right? Not to be able to see things for the truth, for the, the real truth. But now you're stepping into a time where there's illumination, right? We had the hang man with the illumination coming around his head. It's this illumination, right? It's bringing the illuminating light to the moon card. This is about not seeing things as clearly, right? And it's a little erratic. Look at the animals here. I mean, they're all kind of the way that they're behaving. It's just the effect that it has on them. It can be very confusing. It can shift and change your energy and cause you to feel like this has been a long journey. Okay, Cancer. So where's it taking you? It's taking you towards the beginning, right? It's showing itself here as the Ace of Swords because I feel like it's this light coming into your life, this illumination. It gives you the kind of understanding that you've been seeking, right? This kind of intuitive understanding that you're taking this understanding with you into this beginning. 
You're letting go of all the judgments, right? All the judgment, the judgments that you may have taken on that were connected from the, you know, things being somewhat of an illusion. Okay, Cancer. So Jupiter rules Sagittarius, right? We have the Sagittarius card taking us into your reading. Here we see it, right? The Wheel of Fortune. This is about changes coming into your life. I feel like they're changes that are coming into your life because of this illumination that you've received. This is coming in attached to the Page of Swords. So for some of you, this illumination may have been received by, by an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it's this Page of Swords, right? It's this truth that's coming into you. This truth that you receive now that's bringing you it's bringing you fairness and balance and bringing in these beautiful changes into your life. Okay, Cancer, another message here, right? This is not the time to take time to, you know, rest and recuperate. Because here, trumping this energy of resting and rec recuperating, we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, right? This energy used to come in and Right, to make the necessary changes that you need to make in your life, Cancer, right? To remove the limiting energies so that you can make room for the beautiful new energies to come in. And what exactly are you making room for, Cancer? Well, for many of you, you're making room for a relationship in your life. Whatever this relationship is, right? Whether it's romantic, whether it's friendship, right? Very meaningful relationship. Right? It's like two people that are open and willing to share, sharing emotions and feelings. Showing itself here is the Two of Cups. Right? Connected to it is the Three of Wands. So it's not beginning the journey together yet, right? This is about talking about the journey, talking about the possibilities that lie ahead, which is, this is just a beautiful energy for you. Cancer, taking us to the energy, steering us out of your reading, which is the Page of Wands. So some of you may be stepping into this journey right, with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Pages are news, messages coming in. This is a pretty fast moving energy, right? So I don't know, Cancer, I feel like, you know, once this, once this union comes together, things happen pretty quickly, right? I feel like it just falls into place very easily for you after the illumination, right? After the illumination and after embracing this Queen of Swords energy, right? Because this is just the potential, right? The lies ahead. So now, if we're looking at the potential, now it's up to each of us to make the choices, right? To be able to manifest and create this potential. Okay, Cancer, let's go after some clarifiers. I'm gonna use the, my Crystal Vision Tarot set for the clarifiers. Okay, so the first area I want to get some clarification on is the moon card right here. <clears throat> Tell us more about the moon card. Tell us more about the moon card. As a clarifier for the moon card here we see it again the illusion right represented here in the moon card what is it that's represented what's where's the this illusion once the illuminating light comes on for you what's it taking you towards ace of swords beginning right so this illumination that comes into you that clears up the cloudiness of the moon card it's like it clicks with you right and you suddenly you can take on and embrace this new understanding taking on new truths, a new way of looking at things. Getting rid of the old way of doing things, right? The old way of, you know, the inefficient ways of what we're creating a long journey, right? Because of the illumination, it's like the light comes on, 
and it gets rid of this heavy limiting energy. Okay, Cancer, let's ask about the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get some clarification on that. Tell us more about the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Cancer, so we had the Ten of Wands earlier in your tarot reading, and now we have the Ten of Swords, right? So we're seeing endings and completions, right? Maybe could be the ending of whatever this moon, right? This disillusion that it was causing you, right? There were painful lessons that were connected to this. Represented here as the Ten Swords, right? We see a figure, she's lying face down in the, in the snow with these Ten Swords impelled in her back. Ten swords, right? These represent lessons, right? Maybe the heaviness of the journey, the heaviness of the journey of you know, being in this moon card, right? With the, the dissolution. It's the ending of this dissolution. That's, that's what's bringing about the beautiful changes for you, Cancer. Okay, now let's ask about the Two of Cups, this relationship showing up here. Tell us more about the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, please. Okay. All right, Cancer. So showing up as a clarifier for the Two of Cups, right? This is representing the energy of two people coming together in union. Right? What is this union about? This is about a beginning, right? This is about a passionate, exciting, very creative beginning. Showing itself here, right, is the Ace of Wands. So just kind of take on the image and the colors, right, in this card, because just allow yourself to feel, and you can begin to feel the kind of beginning that's showing itself with these two energies showing, coming together in the Two of Cups. Okay, all right, Cancer, I think I'm done with your tarot reading. You guys had a beautiful read. I hope that it resonated with you. I hope you're able to hear any messages that were meant for you to hear today. You were able to hear part of your story, connect with these energies. More importantly, I hope you were listening close, right, to the messages that were here, the intuitive guidance, right? Because this is the potential, right? And well, we all want to reach our potential, right? So now it's up to us, Cancer, to make the to recognize these energies, recognize this illumination that's coming into you, take it on and embrace it, right? Allow this illumination to bring on the Ten of Wands, to end the long journey for you, right? The Ten of Swords, right? It wasn't just a journey. There were lessons that were part of that journey for you. Taking these lessons with you. Ah, no, Cancer, I'm getting passionate about it here, so. Okay, guys. Cancer, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share this tarot reading. I mean, honestly, thank you for everything. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to have this channel, right? To be able to share these readings like this, because without all of you, None of this would be possible, so I can't thank you enough. Kick okay, Cancer, have a beautiful week. Thanks for letting me share.